So, a question I've been asked, and one that I had pondered myself, is how much uh, heat energy actually comes out the air part of the heater. So, I have purchased an anemometer, or better known as a wind speed uh, reading device, uh, wind speed meter, anyway, an anemometer. So, we've got an anemometer, and we've got a thermometer for measuring the temperature into which the air comes out, well, goes in and comes out, so we have a change of temperature. And then using, uh, hopefully, uh, you guys as well, mathematics as well as my basic maths and lots of online calculators on the laptop, we're going to work out how much air comes out of this here and uh, in volume, and then the change in temperature will let us know how many kilowatts, thank you laptop, how many kilowatts of heat is being imparted into the air, and then we'll see if that roughly mm, works out with uh, how much diesel that it is burning. So, uh, let, let us begin, I suppose. Okay, I've turned the heater on so we can let it run up to full temperature and full running velocity, and then we'll take an airspeed reading of the outlet and a temperature reading of the hot air and we'll write it down and we will do maths so just now we're going to do its maximum power and then I'll do the minimum power off screen and we'll do all the results at the end so for now just going to let it blast up the heat and then we'll do more measuring we have been running for a little while now so let us take uh, wait, can you see can I see can I see what you see let's take the intake temperature I've got the extractor fan on because I'm trying to keep it roughly the same temperature in here. And it is cold today. 9.5 9 call it a nice round. 9.5. Let's call it 9.5. Where's my pen? Let me just write that down so don't forget. 9.5 degrees C. On the inlet. And on the outlet. I'll just presume you can still see. Sixty-five. If we move it about, it'll change because the air output changes depending on how better it hits the duct. So if I hold about there, it seems to be where most of the hot air is. I'm just going to call it 67 for the ease of uh, measurements. Right, 67. Outlet temperature, 67 degrees C. Where's our uh, anemometer? One anemometer. Uh, max. Let's go for max. Got 11.9 meters per second. 11.9. 12. Oh, that's nice. Let's just call it 12 meters per second. Right. And now turn everything off. Where's my pen? I've lost my pen. 12 meters per second. While that uh, cools down, let's go over to the whiteboard and do some maths. Okay, so the first thing we need to work out is converting our airflow in meters per second into the weight of the air that we have moved. So there's this online calculator which you put in your airflow, which ours was 12 meters per second. The size of our ducting, which on this here is uh, it's in radius, so 35 mil, 35 millimeters, and that gives us 166.26 meters cubed per hour of air. I'll write that down somewhere. Uh, 160. So we'll just make it 166. 166 meters cubed an hour. Okay. 166 meters cubed. So we'll take 166. 166. Uh, cubic meters of air is 
214.62 kilograms of air per hour. So let's just make it 215 kilograms. 215. Yes. 215 kilograms of air per hour. Right, 215 kilograms. Now, we'll move on to the temperature calculations. Right, our change in temperature at this time was... We were output 67, input 9.5, that is a delta, a change in temperature of 57.5 degrees. We had a mass of 215 kilograms of air, which gives us an output of the air heating side of 3.5 kilowatt hours. Now I'm going to just put that down as 3.5 kilowatt hours. That is of heated air. What's that in? Megajoules. Megajoules. 12 megajoules. I'll write that down. 12 megajoules. Lovely. Okay, now we've got that. Let's uh, do what we got out of um, a diesel. Sorry, I was um, thinking, uh, thinking, thinking inside my head, which is the best place for it. So we know diesel has somewhere between 36 and 39 megajoules of energy per litre. So we need to work out how much diesel the heater used. Now I know it's running at 4.2 hertz, 4.2 hertz, and it's a 22 milliliter pump. So that is 22 milliliters, 22 milliliters for every thousand strokes. Uh, so that's per stroke times 4.2 is 0 0.09 per second uh, times that by 60 per minute is 5, mil 5 millilitres per minute times that by an hour. 333 millilitres of diesel in an hour. 333 millilitres per hour. Uh, what did I say? Oh, well, God, we'll go with 36. That's a bottom number. 36 megajoules uh, divided by a litre equals, and then times our 333 milliliters gives us 11.9 uh, 11 11.98 megajoules of energy, which is exactly the same as the heat output which would be fine if our diesel heater was 100% efficient. We know it's not 100% efficient, which just means we've got errors in our mathematics. And we know we do because we rounded up and rounded down several times, which leads to our error. But it got, it got near. Near is good. I am, I am totally okay with near. 11.98 megajoules. So we can be confident that our numbers are close, pretty close. Uh, we could measure like the air in and air out of the exhaust and do the same calculations and see how much heat goes out the exhaust and then we'll be able to, we would be able to see how far off our uh, actual calculations were. But it gives us a, a ballpark, so for the, uh, we'll call it the 5 kilowatt Four kilowatt, four kilowatt here. We're getting three and a half kilowatts of heated air output at 4.2 hertz. Uh, I will go now and I will run it on low and do the same and write it down and I will come back and I will show you the low numbers. Ah, the rain is now battering off the workshop roof. Good old Scotland. Okay, I have run the low side calculations. So on my heater I have the low set for 1.8 hertz. I should have mentioned that I haven't actually checked what RPM I'm running. It's, it doesn't really make a difference to what we're doing. It, obviously, it's just your heater depending on what uh, fuel setting and fan RPM setting will depend on any numbers, different numbers you would get, obviously, because more fuel, more air, more heat, etc, etc. But on my heater, running 1.8 hertz and the intake temperature, 10 degrees. Ooh, we've gone up half a degree in the workshop. Whoopie-doo, we can really feel it. It's like summer in here now. N was 10, 
out with 70, giving us a delta of 60. I didn't write it down because I could manage uh, 10 minus, um, no, 70 minus 10 by myself, just about. Uh, air speed was 4.1 meters, meters per second, which worked out as 57 cubic meters an hour, which is there for 74 kilograms of air per hour. This worked out at 1.3 kilowatt hours of heat, heated by the heater for this, and 4.5 megajoules. I worked the fueling out at 1.8 hertz, which is 143 millilitres per hour, is using 5.2 megajoules of diesel energy. So there's a disparity there, which is good, because that's what we'd expect. We don't expect it to output a perfect number this time. That one was too close. That's too many errors and rounding errors and that, but that's a lot more what I would expect of you're putting in more diesel energy than you're getting out, obviously because your waste heat's going out of the exhaust and it's not as efficient, obviously, at the low speeds because the burn, cham burn, chamber, burn chamber temperature's not just as hot as it is at full power, etc. And so on and so forth, but it was quite interesting to see that we do actually get like, well in my heater it's about half ah, low power, which is uh, nice so this is just for anyone who is interested in what the actual air temperature heating output of the heater is and obviously if any of this is wrong please, please leave a comment because this is how we learn if you, if you suggest that we do the test differently even better, if you've got a better test that I could do with the equipment I have, please leave a comment down below and we'll see if we can rerun the test and get the same numbers or different numbers or better numbers. As well, if you have any comments or questions, again, please leave a comment. We're here, we're, we're all here to learn shit and I like this. I, I, I'm, oh, I'm doing it, I'm just doing it because I was now curious. We have come out, we've played in the workshop and once I'm finished filming, I'm going to go and do something else in the workshop, except tidy up. I refuse to tidy up. It's not summer yet. So, uh, any questions, comments, or any any ways you'd like to see it done differently, or any comments on the process or the <laughs> or on the maths of my situation, please leave a comment down below, and I'll try to answer them and read them, and we'll come back and explore it again if need be. Or if I've actually not fucked up and got it fairly right, well, even better for us. So, as always, thanks for watching.